Okay, here we have the honey production. This is definitely bottled at the source here in my garage. Tried to use this old hoopty extractor I bought a long time ago and it just completely fell out. It was already all broken and I put it all back together and then the gear stripped out halfway through so I had to go back and get the the, the real deal extractor from the Bee Guild. And uh, so here we are, I'm bottling up little bottles of honey. These are gonna be the little uh, honey favors at the wedding. I have two cases. Got about, uh, probably about two and a half gallons this, uh, this harvest. So we already bottled a case yesterday. We're gonna bottle this case today and I'm sure I'll have some left. And then, uh, then we got a lot of nice cap and butter ready. I'll jar all that up and I'll probably, this is a darker honey. And I like the lighter one from last month better. So I'm probably going to add some of the lighter honey to the capping butter. Just to kind of give it that flavor. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on at the Wolf Grams. We got the, oh, look who's outside waiting for us. That's Little Girl, a.k.a. the Bulldozer. She'll go into that garden over there and, and look like a, a pig has been rooting in there. But she's pretty good. I got her pretty trained. She doesn't go in there too often anymore. Those are her little three sidekicks. And uh, the other two are over there somewhere. So they're just around cruising around. They like to go around to the to the other side over here and go scratching the dirt over there. That's where she's going right now. Like to go over there and check things out. Slowly expanding their territory. Kind of funny, they used to go up top there, but they haven't done that in a long time. I think since I've been training them not to go beyond the fence, this little fence here, they haven't been uh, venturing up there. Oh, there's the other two. This is another favorite scratching place. They always seem to end up here, too. So, uh, that's what's going on. Garden's looking good. Oh, we got all this giant squash up there. I just, a whole bucket full of squash I harvested. There's another squash plant back there. There's another one up there. There's actually two over here. There's one in the corner and then there's one, that one giant one's actually growing over that, that plant. You can see some of the squash there. And there, there's one pretty, pretty big ass squash. These are the spaghetti squash. Anyway, I just harvested some yesterday, twice that big. And, uh, Oh, here's a big one. There's a pretty good size one right there. So, and then we got zucchini. And then uh, these guys are just starting to, to uh, produce right here. I'm not really sure what kind that is. I don't remember. But I have the sticker up there. So that's what's going on. Pond's doing good. Oh, we got one of those... Uh, Lotus flowers starting to open up right now. Bees are doing great. I'm gonna move them. Um, I'm gonna move that hive over here. And uh, I'm gonna set it up right up top here. Right on this uh, landing here. There's the other hive down there. So the bigger hives I'm gonna have up here. So they're easy to work with because carrying this stuff up and down there is kind of a pain in the ass. Those supers are super heavy. So like when I start hives, I'll start them down there. And then plus if I don't know if they're aggressive or not, I keep them away from everybody. It really works well because they, they take off that way. Even though I got the hive facing this way now so it gets morning sun, they still take off that way. The flowers here are all doing really good. That's pretty, pretty smithy. Got a lot of birds coming to the feeders. I just filled that yesterday, but it's, this is actually chicken feed, and uh, they still ate it all. <laughs> Usually, uh, with the bird feed, they eat that in less than a day. Uh oh, here comes Timmy. Maybe she's gonna lay an egg. It's kind of cool. They just come back in here when they gotta lay an egg. So I used to worry they'd lay them in the bushes, but they don't seem to. Up, oh, we only got one in there. That's it. Not even a third of the rent. Well, a third of the rent. But uh, I'm pretty confident it'll be a three egg day. Little girl's been laying him in, in the, towards the evening. Come on, Timmy, you gotta go in there and lay an egg? Go ahead. Oh, I scared her. You can go back in there, girl. Come on, go back in there. 
Okay, that's the deal.